Hey guys, what is up Dave here with a brand new video on the channel. I wanted to make this video tonight because I had a friend I wanted to send this to and uh, he works in the internet security world. I thought maybe this could be helpful to him sometime eventually or even just in personal life when digging around the internet. Um, this video is all about archive.org. I'm sure I've made a similar video in the past, but I wanted to make it again because Archive.org continues to amaze me with both the weird stuff it archives and the useful stuff it archives. So, like, let's go with an example. Let's go archive.org. And I'm going to show you guys how to browse physical files of a web page rather than go through and only see the web pages. So, we're going to go like Nitto 1320 because. Duh, it's the easiest example in my opinion. And you can like search for specific web pages. So there's Nitto 1320's old website. Now we don't want to see the website itself because it's going to forward us. So we don't want that method of viewing the website. We also don't need this. <clears throat> so we can go and see all the captures. This is going to be the easiest way to view things. So you want to click down there at all the captures. And my favorite thing to do is come up to the address bar and put an asterisk there. From there, we can see literally everything the website has ever given us. So as you can see right here, this is a zip file. This website's gone. This website no longer exists. If you go to this, it just forwards you to Nitto Tire. Um, and says 404 page not found. So if we just open this in a new tab and tell that to screw off and we go and click the state, sometimes it'll have it archived, sometimes it won't. So let's do dot zip. That's the only one here. Okay. So we'll do another one. Let's see here. For now, we're going to get rid of the asterisk. And we need to find one that's not green. So we're going to go back to like 2003. And we're going to go to February 11th and open this date. From here, you can actually see down below what the download links for these originally were. So it looks like they were actually FTP links. What the hell? I never knew, noticed these links. Legit have never seen this link before when it comes to Nitto. That's a new one for me. But uh, so those dates don't work. Let's go a little further into the future. Here we go, 1.10s. So I can literally click this and it'll actually take me to a download. Now the thing we can remember is this URL up here. So if we go and copy this, actually we don't even need to. You just come up into the address bar and you put in two different asterisks. My God, I can't hover. Put them there and there. It's very dark where I am, so this is a little difficult. You can actually see all the .exe downloads for the original game from the original website, and the, all of these links will work. Most of these links should work. So like if I open this one in a new tab, and I scroll down, I'll see these two dates are archived. I just click one of them. That's the original game. Um, that's the original EXE, and this is how we got every version of Nitto 1320. Now, let's say you want to be a little bit nosy. Look for, in like a public message or something like that, do I have this? Uh, hold on. Look for like a public message that has a Discord attachment. So we'll go to like my 1320 updates section here. And this has an attachment right here. So you can click this, it's going to open up your browser, click cancel. You can get this Discord app CDN link, and you can go to archive.org with it, and you can be a little bit nosy. So I'm going to hit enter, and obviously the link by itself brings up nothing in this view, but let's say, just wipe all that out and put like a six here with an asterisk. I've done it before. This is how I know it works. This is how you can be a little bit nosy to other people's Discord attachments, which 
I have found some weird things doing this. I've also found some viruses. Um, but you just sit here and wait for it to populate. Or, you know, I have this pre pre done over here. So I can just go through here. So like here's my mod SRC. Let's let's be nosy. What is this? My mod source. It's a Fortnite launcher. No freaking way. I'm I'm stealing that. That's that sounds uh <coughs> my mod src and one way that's really useful to see just what you've downloaded is go to google and type the physical file name into uh google with the extension if it's uploaded anywhere else you might actually find it and see what the whole thing actually was but this looks like it was a whole launcher for fortnite and I don't think I should run it, but you know what? For YouTube, I'll do anything. Whoa, this is like a whole server and everything. Wow, okay, this is uh, way more than I bargained for. I really need to get Visual Studio installed and see what the hell this is. This looks sweet. I'm gonna get Visual Studio installed eventually or get my old computer working. And we'll see what that was. But this is how you can be nosy and just like steal stuff from uh like here's some macros. I don't know what they're for, but I'm gonna go download them. That one would be a little bit harder to like uh search and see what it was. Uh let's see. Macros. I probably shouldn't trust this stuff, but an easy thing you can do is just just right click it, scan it with Defender. I know Defender isn't the most trustworthy, but like recently watched another video of some ordinary gamers and I kind of agree with him. Windows Defender comes with Windows. It has most of the stuff you're paying for from like ABG and McAfee built into it. Why use anything else? It's completely fine. Now a lot of this is in Spanish or Portuguese or a language I don't speak and I'm probably not going to run these just because I don't trust them, so I'm going to delete those. But, like, this just shows the amount of stuff you can get away with. Any URL that I generally work with, I will go through and throw it into archive.org and see what I find, especially anything that begins with .cdn. You can do this with old for shared links. You can do this with old Mediafire links. You can do this with Zippy share links. You can do this with two shared links. Um... I've never found a working rapid share link, but I would love to try it because imagine the things we will find. Same with old mega upload. I can't find the direct link to the file. If I could find a direct link to a file for mega upload, we could easily do this. This even works with Google Drive. This works with Discord, obviously. This works with uh, so many things out there. I've even um, gone as far as like testing this with... Uh, some of the I want to see what this is some of the car websites that I order car parts from legitimately I have gotten like the tunes and stuff almost completely for free let's see what this is this sounds like it's it's something in Python I don't have Python on this computer so I can't run this but there's a readme your API key, your solver's name. After that, click account creator.py and it should start the bot. So let's look at account creator.py. This will tell us what it's probably for. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a Roblox account creator. Of course it is. What would what else would it be? But this is just how nosy you can be with archive.org. Archive.org is incredibly powerful. Um, it's definitely worth learning to use on a massive level. And you can do so much with it. You can find so much with it. It's a very underrated website that more people need to know about if they're looking for this kind of stuff. Like here's another 
loader thing. This is a PS4 exploit. If that doesn't, you know, get you interested, I don't know what does. But uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.